So we are going to study concepts of expectations, variances, covariances, standard deviations, and correlation coefficients of random variables. And we are going to study these concepts using a very simple numerical example. So here is an example. Let's say there are three states or three possibilities in the near future. So summer is, summer is coming and summer is either hot or mild or cold. State 1 happens with probability 0.5, state 2 happens with probability 0.3, and state 3 happens with probability 0.2. So with probability 0.2, the coming summer is cold. A random variable is a variable whose value depends on the realized state of the nature. So here are two examples of such random variables, x and y. Let's say you own two businesses, a beer company and an, and an ice cream company, brewery and creamery. And let's say X is the sales of your brewery and Y is the sales of your creamery. Their sales depend on how hot this upcoming summer will be. So if summer is very hot, then beer will sell a lot, ice cream will sell a lot. So the sales of your brewery will be as high as 9,000 pounds. The sales of your creamery will be as high as 8,000 pounds. So it's very good. If the summer is chilly, on the other hand, which happens with property point two, the sales will be 3,000 pounds and 4,000 pounds respectively. So it's not very good. Okay, imagine such a situation. But it's uncertain. It depends on what state will realize, so they are random variables. Let's see how to compute the expectation or the mean of a random variable. The expected value or the expectation of x is denoted by E of x, which is given by this expression. Basically, it is the weighted average of these possible outcomes where the weights are the probabilities. So it is 0.5 probability 0.5 times the corresponding value 9000 plus probability 0.3 times corresponding the corresponding value 5000 pounds plus the probability 0.2 times the corresponding value 3000 pounds. Basically you compute the products of the probabilities and the corresponding values and you sum up the products. If you use your calculator, you see that the expected value of x is 6.6 thousand pounds. The expected value is also called mean, so you can also use Greek letter mu to denote the mean of x. So mu sub x is the mean of x, but it's the same thing as E of x. Similarly, the expected value of y, which is denoted as E of y or mu of y, is also again computed as the weighted average of these possible realizations using probabilities as weights. If you compute it, it turns out also 6.6 thousand pounds. So in this numerical example, both x and y have the same mean, but it is just a coincidence. In general, the mean depends on the random variable. The expectation or the mean of a random variable is a good measure of the average performance of that random variable. You are not sure about the sales of your brewery or your creamery. Their sales can be very high, can be very low, you don't know. If you compute their means, 6.6 thousand pounds is the mean of your brewery sales and of your creamery sales as well. So in terms of the average performance, 
your brewery and creamery are considered equally good. That's the intuition of the concept of the expectation.